on Zoom. Let's see here. Wait. Excellent. So we should have some participants coming in. There they are. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. We're so glad you're here and uh, joining us for an incredible, incredible evening with my special guests and my uh, take a look at this beautiful panel here. I think we're in gallery view. At least we should be. Yes. And so I am so, so glad you're here. Let us know where you're logging in from and, uh, you know, that you're excited to learn tonight with all of us. So welcome, welcome. And I'm going to just take a moment here, make sure we're recording on all cylinders. And we are. We are great. Right. All right. We got Jennifer from New Hampshire. Hey, Carmen. And we got Elaine from Washington. Oh, my gosh. They're piling oh, okay. now. We got Peggy. Hey, Peggy. Um, she's not too far from me right now. And Julie from Syracuse. Welcome. Marlene awesome. from California. Uh, thank you guys all for joining us. This is awesome. We're so glad you're here. Okay. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Melanie Nelson and I am the director with TLS, Transitions Lifestyle uh, System. And we are a weight loss solution, but we're for health. We're for your uh, health goals, your weight goals. And we're going to be talking a little bit about moving more, uh, really fitting in that fitness because it is one of our mm -hmm. pillars in TLS, okay. as well as it is National Move More Month. So we wanted to bring on some incredible experts that we have in our community. Uh, and I, so I want to start over here in the, in with our big smiling face here in the pink. And it is with Suzanne Patrick. Uh, she is a certified personal trainer, a, a group fitness instructor. She is also a school teacher and owner of, a, of multiple boutique fitness centers. And of course she incorporates TLS within them. Uh, she has also been our certified TLS coach of the year. She's also a certified TLS trainer. So we have got um, Suzanne with us. Thank you for joining us, Suzanne. Woo <laughs> um, and in the bottom corner flexing there, we have uh, ladies first here, Cam Parker. And uh, many of you are very familiar with Cam. Um, she has been, uh, as she served our country in the US military for 11 years. So thank you for our, your service, Cam. Uh, she's been a personal trainer for 30 years. Can you believe that? Doesn't she look 30? Um, and owned and operated functional fitness gyms for nine years, um, obviously integrating TLS in there with her clients. Uh, she specializes in beginners and senior citizens, really helping people stay mobile and strong um, later in life. And she's been married for 24 years and loving chasing the grandkids around. So... Yeah, super fun stuff. So thanks for joining us, Cam. <laughs> All right, and then uh, we have Sam Lin. Um, he is a father. He is an owner of an MMA and CrossFit gym. Mm. And um, he is a certified personal trainer as well. Uh, he is a certified sports nutrition and certified exercise therapist. Uh, he has just, uh, he's one of the most intelligent people I know. He knows multiple languages. Um, thank you for joining us, Sam. Big round of applause. Thank you so much yeah. for being here. Yes, so excited. So we're talking about fitness. We're talking about moving more uh, and, and why that's important. I, I think everybody knows that they need to do it. Would you guys agree? Yes. It's like, we all know we need to do this, right? Absolutely. <laughs> and so, um, you know, let's dive in with some tips, some really usable tips on how to fit it in, uh, you know, overcoming those, those obstacles when it comes to fitting in fitness. Let's just dive in to, to that. So Suzanne, why don't you start us off? Well, when it comes to diving into movement, I think it has to be fun, has to be doable, and it has to fit in with what you're already doing, you know? Um, I'm working with a lot of people who are stay at home families or just have kids running around either part-time or full-time. And, you know, if we just incorporate movement, it can be going to the gym and lifting. It can be playing a game of tag, right? And so I just tell people just to move, right? And so we just need to come up with ideas personally for individuals, for families and what that looks like. For sure. And if you catch Suzanne on her Facebook lives, often her daughter is joining her. Um, and so it's really just great to incorporate your kids into movement. 
Uh, and I think that's, I think that's pretty important. Uh, you know, dance parties are one of my favorites. Tag is also a ton of fun, even when you're an adult. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So, how do we keep engaged too, right? Shooting hoops. Um, and it does, the workout doesn't have to be perfect. And Easter time, we filled the Easter eggs. The kids wrote the workouts. You know, they just, they said five burpees or 10 push ups, And then we just threw eggs at each other and we opened them and everybody had to do them. And then they had to clean up after. So there's another three minutes. <laughs> that night. is awesome. I love that. What a yeah. great idea for Easter eggs. Instead of eating a whole bunch of candy, um, you just throw eggs at each other. I like it. Um, <laughs> good stuff. effect. If you don't have eggs or if you're a teacher, crumble up balls and throw them around the house and do your workout. For sure. Sam, what, what tips do you give your clients, um, you know, in regards to fitting in more fitness when they're struggling with that particular thing? I mean, obviously all of you are working with clients and they're coming in to see you, but what are they doing when they're not seeing you? How are they fitting in that fitness? How do you get them to move more when they struggle with that? Well, when most um, people who are struggling and um, to me, I just uh, tell them the best way is just do it and then find the exercise that you enjoy. And gradually, um, mm -hmm. you can increase level or change. And as you said, I think the best way if you have uh, anyone that has a kid at home, do exercise with the kid. That's all I do every day with my two sons. So, and it, it's really a lot of fun. And also it's more, like more family time. Yeah, yeah. so true. Absolutely. I like that. So exercise um, mm -hmm. you enjoy. What if somebody's really struggling with well, I don't like running and I don't like biking and I, you know, um, you know, what, what are, what are some, some suggestions that you like to, to give them like any specifics? Um, basically for, uh, people who like, they, if they don't like, uh, exercise at all, then, um, basically what I will tell them, uh, I mean, do you really want to lose weight? Do you want, really want to be healthy? And if you, if that's your goal, then you just have to do it. Okay. And, and then you can pick and choose like some um, exercise such as like cardio or resistance or heat training, whenever, or even much more. So find something that you enjoy and then do it step by step. Right. I think that brings up a good point. Try something new, like maybe take mm -hmm. a martial arts lesson or go do a, a yoga class or a um, Zumba or, you know, just try something you've never done before just to see if you like it. Yeah. Um, and that's a, that's a great, that's a great, uh, tip. And, and also, and it's, I have heard this before, strangely, that if you <laughs> want to reach your goals, you just got to do it. <laughs> so, um, Cam, how about you, you, uh, end us off here with some great tips for everyone who's struggling to fit fitness in. Fit fitness in. Well, I want to echo Suzanne and Sam in that it is really helpful if you pick something you enjoy and do it habitually. I always talk about the habit or the commitment to fit it in. But I also tell people, you don't have to like exercise for it to work. It's one of the few things. So that's kind of a bonus because you can just show up and do it, not really enjoy it, but still get the benefit, especially a lot of my clients say when it's done is when I'm the happiest. <laughs> So I think part of it is uh, understanding that all movement is therapeutic to your, your mind, not just your body, and that you really, your want to has to get into shape. So you fit it in by, by picking two times a week. I, I always teach people about your minimum strength training is two sessions a week, 20 to 30 minutes. A lot of people do more than that, and you can, but when you're just starting out, you'd be surprised at how much better you would feel if you would just fit in like two 20 minute sessions that were focused on weight training. And then if you kick in a little cardio with that, you'd just be shocked at how good it would do. So my point is, if you really want to fit fitness in, you have to just do it, just like you said, Melanie, first. But if you do it habitually, then your want to gets in shape. Your want to doesn't happen first. It comes later after you've made sure you commit to your fitness for at least four to six weeks. Oh, definitely. Or longer if you're me. Um, yeah. yeah, you may never like it, but you'll still get the benefit. <laughs> that's right. That's right. And I do, you know, I think, cause I am one of those people that, um, you know, doesn't naturally enjoy exercise. Cause I didn't grow up being athletic. Uh, I didn't grow up engaging in a lot of activity or sports or those types of things. It's something I started doing as an adult. Um, and I just loved how I felt after so much 
that it was the, the want to or the discipline to do so. And for me, it's about putting it on the calendar. It's literally like an appointment. It's actually in my calendar as an appointment, because if that doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. And yeah. it doesn't matter how much I intend to do a cardio session. If it mm -hmm. doesn't go on my calendar, if I don't put that weight training session, um, I'm, I really, that's what I need to do in order to make it happen. And it works for mm -hmm. me because I'm one of those people that if I have an appointment, I'm going to make it, you know, like right. I hold, I hold my appointments in high esteem. And so that's the other tip I, I give people is hire one of these beautiful people, um, you know, in your area or, or someone who, who, who can hold you accountable, get a workout buddy who you meet on zoom, your friend, you know, and do whether you're working out at the oh. same workout or not, just get together and, 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 you know, just keep each other accountable. So workout buddies, personal so trainers, everybody freezes, but me, what do I do? Oh, shoot, Cam. Well, you have to mute yourself. There okay, you go. I'm good. I'm good. Okay. You're good. <laughs> awesome. So, you know, speaking about the feel good and the want to, I mean, what are some key, key benefits? Let's just round robin key benefits of um, exercise. I'd say uh, improved mood. Suzanne? Definitely energy. Energy. Sam? Oh, definitely uh, for my overall my uh, health, my cardiovascular health, improve my uh, mitochondria level, which is mm -hmm. our energy uh, uh, factory. And, and the bones is more than look good. <laughs> look good, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Feel better. Uh, my, mitochondria health. Now that's really uh, a big word for for you know a lot of people, and that's a really cool cell that is very dense in your muscle tissue that produces energy, and we always need a little more energy. What was the first one you said, Sam? Cardiovascular health. Okay. Absolutely. Sam, mm -hmm. a few benefits? Yeah. Uh, yes, absolutely. Um, everything that you do in your life that requires movement gets easier because you're exercising and working out and prioritizing your fitness. And I'm a big believer in that, that yeah. you, want, you don't want your life to be the workout. You want it to be doable and fun and enjoyable. So you train so that the things you love to do in your life feel easier and more enjoyable. Yeah. I'm just spending some time with a friend of mine and she said she's in her seventies, but she's getting, she's been training and she's now be able to get in and out of a kayak by herself, you know? And it's just, that's exactly what you're talking mm -hmm. about is life is workout. Your workout is so that you can live your life. Exactly. Um, Play so, with your kids. Yes, absolutely. More benefits, Suzanne. Well, and I was thinking improved digestion. I had to yell that out, you know, because that's a big one for me. And mm -hmm. that's where our life stems from as well. You know, our, our immune system, our energy, just our well-being, Cam. You know, when we yes. partner movement, we don't have to call it exercise. We don't have to call it fitness. We don't have to go to the gym. And if you want to mm -hmm. go lift super heavy things and put them down, you know, but if we <laughs> movement with our clean eating, which is what TLS is all about, we're improving digestion and just living a better quality overall of life. I know when I feel way down or bloated or whatever, it stops you from doing things, right? People might be able to associate that with having a migraine that like ruins your day. You can't go out. Well, if your gut is mm -hmm. off, you don't feel good, you know, it impacts your life overall. So it's not mm -hmm. just about feeling good in the moment, but what can you do and what's, what's expanding out from that? Ooh, so good. Absolutely. I'd say it reduces stress as well. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> say that. Boom. Yeah, definitely. Any others that come to mind, you guys? And even if you're on the Zoom or Facebook, you can chat in to see what, uh, tell us what kind of benefits you've seen from incorporating fitness and exercise into your life. You know, whether you're whittling a waste away um, or, you know, the, the better skin. Thank you, Jennifer. There yeah. you go. It's so true, actually. Better skin. <laughs> True. And I, um, I would say improve self-esteem. And I think that's really important right now is, um, uh, you know, that, that I say my goal for the people that work out with me, whether I'm going live on Facebook or my clients, is that you feel good in your skin and that you acknowledge and celebrate one workout and you acknowledge and celebrate your progress no matter how, what, what, it doesn't matter what measurement is, progress is progress. So I really think a boost in self-esteem benefits you, your family, and your community. Yes. Yeah. Doris is uh, saying in that she's getting better sleep. 
Yes. It's also yeah. a great benefit and mm -hmm. um, clear your mind, Pamela says, and be able to focus. Yeah, absolutely. For sure. I, I have to say, Cam, that um, actually when I did start exercising as an adult and I, I had lost a, a, a lot of excess weight that I was carrying, my self-esteem took a huge <laughs> leap forward. Yeah. And I was like, wow, this is what, this is what good feels oh, like. and looks like, yeah. and I just, it was life changing. So I think, yes. for, um, you know, it's this weird side benefit you're not expecting to just feel more confident and more powerful, more capable. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I can, I can absolutely say that that is how is true for my own journey for sure. Endorphin, and for, happy endorphins, happy drugs. Endorphins, yes. Hey, good, you know, natural happy drugs. <laughs> and for seniors uh, that may be on this uh, listening in, uh, it is research-based proven to improve cognitive function yeah. and to help decrease and possibly even turn around some uh, compromise in our brain and its executive function specifically, which is your ability to make choices in life. It improves with weight training and strength training. Absolutely. Definitely. I always feel like I get more done in a day when you work out. How about you guys? Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I feel accomplished. My energy is up higher when I work out. I'm not more tired. I'm more energetic. Yeah. That's why I always need to work out in the morning and to, to feel good and I for the rest of my day. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's I've also been looking into working out specifically for better sleep, which um, like an additional 20 to 30 minute session around the 5 p.m. mark seems to work really, really well for people who are looking to sleep a little better. Mm -hmm. I thought that was really interesting. Um, so I'm, I'm really looking into that because sleep is so important. And so let's, let's keep moving here because we've had some really good stuff and I want to keep moving because we have a lot to cover. So let's talk about, uh, you know, the common thing that I feel like happens out there is you know, when people want to lose weight, they either, you know, go on a diet or they start exercising. They do one or the other. And in TLS, we're really a comprehensive program that's bringing everything together. But we do focus a lot on, on, on nutrition and the need for proper nutrition, not only just for life, but obviously for getting a really good workout in. Um, and, and, you know, they say you can't out train a poor diet. Now, why is that, Sam? You know, you have a real athletic, uh, background you have, you're working with, um, people who are looking to be athletes or are, why is nutrition so important to this, you know, process? Nutrition definitely, um, it's, uh, very important. Uh, I always tell people that it's, uh, 100%, uh, uh, I mean, exercise and 100% nutrition, but actually nutrition plays 70% of the result. And um, most of the diet um, on the market, which is um, what they do is um, creates a, a calorie deficit. So it's it's good that, uh, for weight loss, but not really nutrition balance. And also it's not really for long-term lifestyle. So right. that's why, yeah, that's why enough about uh, TLS. It's, um, it's a long time uh, lifestyle, healthy lifestyle and uh, nutrition balance. And we get to eat real food, the most important, right? And uh, we have different programs that for different uh, fitness goal. And I have like, so many different clients that uh, came to me like for uh, either uh, uh, weight loss or uh, build muscle or just uh, general, uh, I mean, uh, overall like, health uh, purpose. So, but uh, TLS is really uh, amazing and not just for myself and so many of my uh, UFO partners and also my uh, gym members, they got amazing results. It just myself, I lost like 30 pounds and now uh, four inch on my belly with six months, my right, TLS program. Yeah, your pictures are incredible, Sam. Yeah. yeah, they're really, they're really amazing. Um, if you happen to have them on your desktop, you just flash them up. Um, <laughs> so we, we'd love to see them. Oh, I didn't think of that before. So, you know, I, I feel like Cam, you're always preaching this as well, just how important, um, proper eating is to not just fitness, but for life. You want to speak to that a little bit? Well, we talked about the benefit. One of the benefits of exercise is reduce stress. One of the biggest stressors to the body is not eating well or habitually under eating all the time or overeating stuff that's really not food. 
And so you're, the way you feed yourself, um, one thing I always encourage people is to make food a love letter to yourself and make sure it loves you back, you know, that it's not a one-way street, right? Because if, what a lot of people don't realize is if you don't feed yourself well in conjunction with exercise, if you're trying to exercise and forget the food part, then you're more likely to get hurt or to not have the energy to work out and compromise what you really are trying to achieve. So it fuels you and keeps you safe and keeps you in a better mood when you eat well. Not only the benefits to body composition and if you're trying to transform your body, TLS is uh, really drives that home about balancing your blood sugar and eating well. Yeah, and so you chose to integrate TLS into your... Um you know, with your work. Abs with absolutely. Content. Yeah. I've, I've been uh, integrating TLS was very much in alignment with what I, what I had already, I've been in a trainer for 30 years and was introduced to TLS about 11 years ago. And the reason I could adopt it is because it was so on the mark for how I was already teaching people to eat. Plus, you know, I learned a few things as well, you know, so, um, it really makes it easier because the ironic thing about TLS, if you really adopt it and, and follow your coach's advice on how to, to do it the right way for yourself, then you'll have more energy and want to work out more. You know, a lot of people want to change their body, but they don't understand the food is actually holding them back. Uh, it's not really about exercise as much as people think if the food's not on point. For sure. Suzanne? Well, I teach my kids and um, my clients that the food that we eat should be once alive. It should come from nature. We should eat as close to nature as possible. And that includes plants and animals. You know, so a lot of people are eating food like substances that don't nourish the body that aren't digestible. You know, so we can really learn there's so much variety and simplicity in gathering living foods and creating them yourself. You know, um, and when we do that, when we eat unlimited vegetables, uh, clean and lean protein and enough sufficient plant based fats, we do keep our blood sugar level. And that we if, if you think back to how, you know, we come into this earth as infants, as babies, they're eating every three hours. Breast milk has protein, fat and um, carbohydrates. carbohydrates. <laughs> so, you know, they're doing, we need to, we're still that baby. We're just an adult and we're influenced and we're stressed and we're dieting and we're busy and we're broke or we're, you know, whatever. Um, so bringing it back to basics is how I mm. like to have people start to think really close to nature um, and, and help them simplify that. So creating a plate again with a protein, a vegetable and a fat, right? So for sure, mm. or in my case, at least three vegetables. Um, <laughs> well, I'm like, I need three point. colors on my plate. I need <laughs> that's always my goal, um, if not more. So I, you know, I think I think you said something really powerful. Eating close to nature, um, I always say eating uh, from the garden patch or from the farm. Mm -hmm. And the closest you can get to mm -hmm. that, you know, and that's TLS, uh, mm -hmm. you know, Absolutely. versus food like substances. And I think there's a lot of programs out there that are going to to throw a lot of powders and bars and, you know, instant soups and, you know, all kinds of um, engineered food. And we are a real food program. And I think that's one of the things that really sets us apart is we're teaching people how to eat real food. And what that does uh, is so incredible to the body. And I, I think that's why we're all very passionate about TLS is when we are choosing, you know, these, these great foods. And I always tell people when they go to the grocery store, shop around the grocery store, right? <laughs> Don't go in the aisles because yeah. those are food like substances. Yeah. Yeah. Edible <laughs> you, entertainment. And yeah, exactly. But we go around now. I know that there's, um, you know, some people who are on the, uh, line who may have never heard of TLS. And I just want to let them know that we have a promotion coming up called Spring Into Action, where we're doing a seven week accountability group. We're starting this coming Monday, the 19th. 
Um, and we have a special Facebook group just for people who are going to be participating in our spring to action. Um, a purchase of TLS products is required because obviously we're taking people through the TLS mm -hmm. program. Um, and it has been, we have done this many times and it is so much fun to do it together. Um, and we usually have hundreds and hundreds of people on. And this is where you can be encouraged, motivated, mm -hmm. educated, uh, and, and really learn from so many different people while you're seeing everybody have the same similar goals, similar health based goals as you moving forward. And there's something to be said about uh, what we experience as social pressure. And I think uh, it we we've been through a year where we haven't had the normal kind of social pressure of going out and eating and drinking, but we have had that kind of pressure of sitting on the couch mm -hmm. and watching too much Netflix yeah. and eating too much food. And <laughs> this is a really good opportunity for all of you to participate in our spring into action to uh, really create some brand new habits, uh, yes. you know, maybe for the first time or maybe just returning to them. And I think uh, no matter where you're at, you can benefit from our spring into action to, you know, re-energize, revitalize. Um, and we have all of our information for that on our TLS weight loss uh, solution page. And um, you can definitely reach out because it is starting soon to the person who invited you here on this uh, Zoom. If you're brand new to uh, TLS and all of that fun stuff, definitely ask about what we got going on because you're going to want to have some fun with us. So um, as far as TLS goes, you know, um, but all of you are, you know, obviously very healthy when you, when you came on board. Um, Sam, you said you lost 30 pounds and four inches around your waist. Yeah, we'll finish this month. Yeah, and you really, um, you know, leaned out, but also gained some muscle too. Like your, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, you, you know, so it helped you with your athletics and your performance. Um, Cam, when you really adopted, I know you were already doing it, but when you adopted the TLS lifestyle, which includes like our supplements, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, kind of four pillars, mm -hmm. exercise, movement, education, and supplementation. So one of the supplements that you incorporated um, with you and your clients was our TLS shakes. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? And I'm going to come back to you, Sam. Yeah, so the shakes, I mean, I'm a big proponent of making sure you eat after a workout. So it's like what I teach people is you're either going to be the tiger or you're going to be running from the tiger. So the tiger chases something down and eats. What's an antelope is, is hiding and breathing hard, right? So, <laughs> so the whole point is that within a half hour after a workout, you either need to be eating a meal or eating a, a protein-based snack. And these shakes meet that idea perfectly, as well as we all know we want to keep our metabolism up. Like Suzanne was saying, babies eat about every three to four hours. But in a modern lifestyle, it's very cumbersome to try to make those meals every time. So most of us do three main meals and two shakes, or if, if we're a smaller person, maybe one shake for a snack. And these are perfectly, plus they don't realize protein, fiber, and fat at every meal makes burning fat no big deal. Well, this has a a patented fiber so not only does it have the protein you need for a snack it has the fiber you need to help balance your blood sugar so this was a win not to mention chocolate vanilla special flavors and i got recipes that oh my god the only bad thing about my recipes is i'm hungry and i drink the shake and like two seconds later it's gone because it's so yummy <laughs> and, and i hey everybody i've taste tested these i'm talking 10 20 different shakes out there and I kept thinking, oh, I'll give my clients different choices. No way. Everything was, uh, ooh, ah, uh, ah. Oh. Okay. Thank you so for something. Good. I'm serious. I, I didn't want to be prejudiced, I, but I take, there is no comparison. If you go shakes, they're awful. You haven't tasted this. These are good. It's so true. I, I was, <laughs> I'm not a shake person. I, I don't, I've never enjoyed them. I, you oh, know, yeah. bloat. I get, you know, I, I, I want to spit it out, you know, I, I, you know, this chalky chemical taste or yeah. this expanding yeah. nature or, and or, I, I, I would not even try our shakes. Um, and they're so good. They're good with just water. Yeah. Ice water, water, you know, 18 grams of protein, 10 grams of fiber, 24 uh, vitamins and minerals. I mean, it is 
the perfect, perfect uh, new convenience. I always tell people, this is your new convenience meal. So if you're prone mm -hmm. to going through the drive through if you're prone to skipping meals because you get busy, um, this is, you know, so perfect, but it's absolutely the thing that I drink after a workout. Mm -hmm. And you can take it with you. Grab a shaker bottle, put your two scoops in there, and then all you need is a bottle of water or water fountain. Shake it up. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Sam, don't you make like you make some like smoothie bowls with it too, don't you? Yep. You got like your your uh you got all kinds of goodies in the bowl, including your shake. You make smoothie bowls. I see you posting about them. So we've yeah. all found fun ways to do this. I love mm -hmm. the shakes. For sure, for They're sure. Really good. Um what else about them too? Oh yeah, absolutely. They're so yummy. Mm -hmm. Um, and we have good news for those of you who fell in love with the cookies and cream. We will have another, we will, we have, it will be coming back in July, August. So everybody, woo, cookies and cream is coming back. There you go, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Aaron is excited about this. So it will be back. Don't worry. And make sure you get your cookies and cream when it comes back. Yummy. So, you know, the thing is, I had a real personal experience with trying for years to lose weight uh, and, and getting up at, you know, the crack of dawn to work out six days a week and, you know, trying to follow this diet or that diet and, um, you know, following the TLS program. But the supplements are really what accelerated my results. They're really what, because I had tried all kinds of things with no supplementation, right? Working out eating better, working out, eating better. I don't even know how many times I couldn't even count how many times that I just recommitted in a different way, tweaking it this way or tweaking it that way to lose weight, to um, get fit because I did want to be fit. I, I, I think the new sexy is strong. Mm -hmm. right? Um, you know, when I grew up, it was, it was very different. And, and so beauty is very different as we, as our culture changes, but I, I truly believe this one's here to stay and, and uh, strong and, and healthy is the new beautiful. And that is really, really important. And so that's what I wanted, but I couldn't get there. And everything changed when I incorporated supplementation. Um, and suddenly I felt good enough to make the good choices. And I know that sounds like you're putting the um, cart before the horse, right? Like I just... Once I feel better, I'll eat better and remove more, right? I mean, isn't that kind of sound backwards? But yep. that, that's what supplementation did for me is, you know, it just made me feel like a million bucks so that I could then uh, go. And then no, not all supplements are created equal. So we are speaking about some pretty incredible science-based supplementation. Yes. Um, and so this is our post, you know, incredible post-workout Um and so we have uh, also Suzanne, you know, this is also something that we use for a great, you know, potentially pre-workout, right? Tell us a little bit about, this is one of your favorite products to utilize as well with your clients. Tell us a little bit about it. Yes, I certainly will. Um, I want to tell you, I also um, had a lady, just like you said, a client called me after a few years and she said, hey, I need to buy your supplements. I said, okay, great. I'm super, super passionate about nutrition. So I said, okay, great. That's fantastic. Do you want to talk about your food too? Let's that, get that in alignment. She said, no, I want to start with your supplements. I know they work. I need to feel better. And then you know, then she took her steps. So yeah. you're absolutely right, Melanie. You need to mm -hmm. start feeling better, which is what one of the things Turnup does for you, actually. But when you feel better, then you can take your next step. Is it nutrition? Is yes. it fitness? You know, together is mm -hmm. great, but sometimes it's too much. So Turnup is really like a, a brain and body type of supplement. It's like a mental clarity because of the antioxidants. We're going to clean out your brain with the powerful antioxidants in here, the mango steam, because if you can't think well, if you don't feel well mentally, you can't make those decisions. You don't want to make the decision to work out, right? right. So supporting the brain and then supporting the muscles too. Uh, this is not a typical energy drink, but if you need good energy to carry you through the day, um, maybe you don't work out till later in the day. You can take this. You can take this at 5 p.m. if you want to. There's only, I think, 24 milligrams of caffeine and it comes from amino acids. It comes from plants. Um, that's what gives us the brain power. So we're not using stimulants in here. I love that. Um, there's nothing wrong with stimulants, but if you're a non-stim person, this is for you. Um, you could take this on top of a stimulant and not have those negative side effects. 
And then, um, and when it comes to fitness, we do talk a lot about amino acids and taurine is an excellent amino. Um, yeah. No, it's in energy drinks. Mm -hmm. So it's in here too, in a superior form, yep. right? Um, but we don't have the sugar and the chemicals and the additives that they're putting in the other energy drinks that we're buying at the store. So no negative side effects to this. And if, again, this, this is what this is about for me, I feel like is the mental clarity, the mental energy to go do what you need to do. That's right. And listen, it tastes great. It kind of tastes yeah. a little citrusy, a little berry, like a berry citrus kind of mix, I think. Um, and another favorite. thing too, yeah. And staying hydrated, right? When you're working out pre and post, this can be a pre workout, um, as Melanie said, a non-stimulant pre-workout, but mm -hmm. even if you work out at 5 a.m., 6 a.m., and then two or three o'clock, you're getting that slump, drink mm -hmm. your, your turn up, right? Exactly. While you're eating right and sleeping mm -hmm. right and putting all your other lifestyle practices into place and you will feel it, you will feel so it's life changing. So uh, just so anybody who's not familiar with our isotonics on the line, this is a powder. And when you mix it with the right amount of water, which in this case is eight ounces, um, eight ounces of water exactly. And you drink it on an empty stomach, you're going to get the maximum benefit of this, the maximum absorption of these nutrients. In fact, 95% of it will be delivered into the small intestine for absorption. And when we absorb what we're taking, we actually feel a difference. So that's why isotonics is so fast acting. Um, and as Suzanne so beautifully uh, told us about turn up with all of the different antioxidants and the vitamins, um, we're really creating that mental, uh, like you said, mind and body boost. Right with turn up. And so no, no matter if you're looking to really ramp up your workout, and like you said, you could take it on top of a stimulant. And when we say stimulant, um, our thermochrome V6 is a fantastic pre-workout, you know, Dennis, mm -hmm. Andrew, myself, we all take it before our workout on an empty stomach. That's a little living on the edge, but, um, we, <laughs> that's how we like to do it. And, uh, you know, we also, we have other ones as well. We have our awake shot. We have, you know, we have other, uh, when we have caffeine, uh, green tea extract, you know, these types of ingredients that, uh, you know, create stimulation and boost. And so this can be taken um, alongside that or on its own for anyone who's sensitive to that. So Suzanne, great job. I love this, this, pro this isotonic so much. Great for pre um, workout. Sam, tell us a little bit about one of your favorite products that you like to utilize for fitness. My favorite product, um, since I work on like, six times, um, six times a week, and uh, also on like, exercise with my kid, so I definitely need a lot of energy. So my favorite product is um this uh, peak performance, right? Because exercise and supplement they go uh, hand in hand with each other. It's like a perfect match. So we exercise to be healthy and strong, but with supplement support that not only enhance the performance but also help out uh, with recovery. So this peak performance is great for pre-workout. I know that a lot of people yeah. they take pre-workout and like, uh, supplements, and this is definitely a must to take for the pre-workout. Not only mm -hmm. increase energy level, increase performance, and I also take this like uh, after uh, for post workout uh, workout because we have a pinage, you know, it's great for recovery. So I uh, take this up. Uh, I mean, every day before and after workout. Awesome. Wow. So. Um, one of the things that's in there that makes it really special, Sam, is our um, instantized branch chain amino acids. Mm -hmm. and tell us a little bit about why amino acids are important for, um, you know, fitness and just overall health in the body. Yeah, amino acids, we have a three gram amino acids uh, in here. Definitely it helps uh, to build muscle because amino acids, it helps uh, uh, we bring uh, more protein to our muscle cell. So not just for um, build muscle, but also for muscle retention. We all know that it's hard to gain muscle, but it's easy to lose. So this is uh, definitely yeah. uh, great, not only right. for energy, but also uh, the, uh, build muscle and also retention. Mm -hmm. And again, it's in that isotonic form. So you're, ta you're taking that powder with that water. And so again, it has mm -hmm. that maximum absorption and benefit. It also tastes very good, which is wonderful. 
Um, and so we love our peak performance. It is, you know, I think it is one of our secret weapons, honestly, uh, in our lineup, especially for people who are really fitness orientated. Uh, they're really athletic. They're looking to, to ramp up, like you said, Sam, that performance, that endurance, that recovery, I think that recovery and that taking it at the end with those branch chain amino acids, helping the muscle repair, uh, I think it's really good for recovery. So it is a really, really great, great addition to someone who is looking to um, ramp up their fitness and their results within that. So um, I think Anna's saying it's a, the amino acids are the building blocks. Yes, they are the building yes, they blocks. Are. Protein. Yeah. I love it. Everybody is so interactive tonight. Yeah. So, um, you know, guys, Go ahead. Melanie, I would just say, you know, um, Ironman, MMA, heavy lifters all love peak performance. They yeah. swear by it. However, you know, Sam also mentioned muscle uh, maintenance. And so muscle mm -hmm. atrophy starts at age 25. So anybody who wants to maintain healthy muscle and support healthy muscle tissue could benefit from the peak performance. Oh, for sure. Right. I mean, Cam, you're working with senior citizens. Yes. Um, we can, mm -hmm. you know, definitely anything that we can do to help them maintain their muscle. Uh, yeah. So, so what I, what I say to folks, cause is like your muscle is going to deteriorate or it's going to maintain or possibly grow. So you can't, you have to intervene. You can't, nothing really stands still. You're either going to go one direction or the other. And what all the trainers and Melanie, what all of us want everyone to do is take that step for, towards wellness and maintaining your muscle and gaining strength which doesn't necessarily require more muscle. It requires more recruitment, more neurological function, which is what I really help seniors do is to, is to make the muscles they have work better. But, and then there you go, turn them up. And then, so it's all about intervening on your own behalf and not wait for a crisis. Go after wellness before you wish you had it. Go after it now while you're still feeling good enough to go get it. For sure. So one of the things um, I've had the pleasure of working very closely with Cam and she's such an incredible, incredible trainer. She's so brilliant. One of the things that, um, you know, she has a great way of uh, helping you visualize things that are happening in your body. And one of the things that really helped me um, push on those extra reps. So I want to, I want to leave with this last tip because I think anybody who's been in the fitness um, realm for a while knows that the, the benefit of working out is the part where you're challenging yourself, you know, not the part where it's easy, not the part where you're having fun, but that those last few reps that are really, really difficult or those last few, you know, those last 10 minutes of the cardio session that you really just want to quit at, um, you know, that is the challenge is where the, the benefit comes in the body. And, um, you know, Cam, I think you were, I remember you telling me that, you know, a certain percentage of your, your muscle cells haven't even come to the party yet. Right. <laughs> you know, like they haven't That's even right. joined the party. They're just sitting there asleep yet. <laughs> and so exactly. And that helped me so much, yeah. like thinking like, you know what, if, and I don't remember, did you tell me a percentage? It was, well, yes, it's 30%, then a different 30%, then a different 30%. And there's 10% that are like the employees in the break room who are back there hoping you don't notice. And you're like, hey, get out of here, help me. And when you get all of it in there, you create that uh, adaptation, which we call tone or strength. You know, right. yeah. and so, you know, when, when she's like, you know, <laughs> you're telling someone to do, you know, 15 and they want to quit at 10, it's like, you know, I, now I just think about all of those muscle cells that aren't working, you know, they're just they're sitting in the break room. They're or they're, out. <laughs> yeah. They're, <hanging> out. <laughs> they're like, and, you do it. <laughs> yeah, and they are coming to the party and I, and they go, I can do five more. Because, and then I tell those muscles to come, like, wake up, yeah, wake, wake up, up, come, come on, to the party. talk to them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so it's helped me push myself a little further um, by just creating that mind body connection with whatever mm -hmm. muscle group I'm working um, in regards to getting that extra benefit. And mm -hmm. I, you know, I really feel like when you're really in tune with your body, you're going to get better results. Yes. Um, and so that for me was, 
was a really uh, a turning point in my that you know getting to that challenging part of my workout and going I have the strength and waking that those tissues up to to come to the party and work out with me um, so that you know I can make the the strides I want to make and so that was kind of a fun a fun little uh, tip and so. Um, you know, we have, uh, we're right on time here, you guys. And I'm, right. I'm feeling really good about this. Uh, you know, I, I feel like people got some great tips out of it. People have been, um, do we have any like burning questions for our, our experts here while we're on the line? Um, if you have some motivation too, thanks, Jennifer. That's awesome. <laughs> right. We're so glad. So um, Melanie, I, I wanted to add real quick that, um, some people think, um, because I work with beginners and seniors, because we mentioned that like 15 or five more, that all the trainers here will agree that you work out at your fitness level. So what's challenging for me may not be challenging for Suzanne, may not be challenging for Sam, and it doesn't matter. It's whatever's challenging for you that you can do safely and push forward. And that's very important. And I talk about that all the time to not have this artificial goal in your head, get with a trainer or, you know, catch one of us on live on Zoom or on Facebook and, and listen to how we cue you to stay safe, but to challenge yourself. Absolutely. And another way to challenge yourself, you know, there's three types of the exercise. There's high intensity, there's long right. intensity and there's strength training, you know, so even changing one of those up might be more fun and enjoyable. So you'll actually do it more or it'll be a challenge, right? High intensity is kick butt. I don't care who you are. Right, Sam? <laughs> yeah, sure. So good. And, and you don't have, have to lift weights. You know, Melanie, you were talking about reps. So, you know, whether you work from home all day by yourself or you have kids, you know, just put it on the calendar, increase what you're doing. Maybe you're going to go heavier and lift more reps. Maybe you're going to turn on that YouTube and do a 10 minute stretch or a 10 yeah. minute, yeah. you know, Pilates, or, you know, maybe you go for a one block walk, or maybe all you go from your two mile to your three mile, you know, so many all movement counts, all movement counts. Absolutely. Sam, any last parting tips? Um, find a uh, partner to uh, work out together. I think this is the best way like, to motivate people who's not, who, uh, who, who uh, not really uh, want to exercise. That's what I do to all my uh, clients. They either find their uh, other help or uh, their friends, uh, family to do it together. Mm -hmm. or, together. Sure. Someone That's just uh, actually, because I did prompt questions for our experts. Um, somebody did mention um, soy uh, for the TLS shakes. What's your take on soy and people with soy allergies? So I just want to clear this up because there is no soy protein in our shakes. Although um, you'll see it on the label, it's actually soy lecithin, right. which is a phospholipid of soy. It's not a protein source um, and it, it doesn't typically create any kind of um, allergic reaction. It's really there just for the consistency, that smooth, nice mm -hmm. consistency that we have in our shake. Um, and so if you're looking at the label and you see soy, just know that, um, it's, you know, that, that is the answer. So, uh, so Susanna, your, um, whoever you have that might have a soy allergy will probably be just fine with our shake. Um, but definitely have them check with their healthcare provider, mm -hmm. uh, and we'll, you know, see what we can, what we can, uh, do for them. So. You guys, it has been absolutely awesome to have you on talking about fitting and fitness, some great tips, uh, some great product support. You know, I, again, I say like, if you want to increase your movement, um, start to just feel better, you know, feeling better first <laughs> through some incredible products. And uh, when you feel better, uh, you just you just naturally want to move more. Um, and so I am so excited to, uh, you know, just see you all again sometime soon. Um, Cam is known for her high energy dancing and we're all missing that. Um, and so <laughs> And so we are um, so glad you joined us. Thank you so much, Suzanne, Sam, Cam, so much uh, gratitude for you guys and your incredible knowledge and you, the community that you've helped built in TLS. So thank you so much, everyone.